Happy holidays everybody, this is Robin with Creativity RV and welcome to the 2019 episode for my favorite Nomad and RV gifts. Whether you're in an RV already or a van or you plan to be or you just know somebody who is or you just live in a tiny space, I have a bunch of cool stuff that I'm going to show you today. Everybody can tell you you need wheel chucks or sewer hoses, right? What I wanted to do is give you items that give you some hacks that you haven't thought of maybe in an RV or make your small space more comfortable or safe. So in no particular order, here goes the top 20 Nomaded RV gifts for 2019. I'm going to go ahead and start with my number one item from last year, which is the Happy Heat rechargeable water bottle. Now, they don't come with my name on them, but a viewer gave this to me at the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous last year, and I just love it. Um, so thank you so much again for that. But for everybody else, it comes in a red pack like this, and it says it's a rechargeable hot water bottle, but it's actually gel. So there is a plug in here, and it goes into an AC outlet. You plug it in here for about 15 minutes, and this thing heats up for six hours is what they say. The more you use it, actually, the better it gets and mine has lasted eight or nine hours. So if, like, if you have a sore neck, like right here, it's got some weight to it, so that's great. It works great as a pillow. But originally I got this to heat up my exterior bin during the winter, so my outlets inside of the service bin didn't freeze. It worked great for that, but I liked it so much that I kept it for myself. It's great on your neck or your hip or your arm or whatever might hurt, or it will warm up your bed on those cold nights. I'll tell you, Last year, I gave this to everybody in my family and all my friends for Christmas, and everybody raves about it, and everybody from last year who got it loves it, and I still get comments to this day that this was the best RV purchase they've made. The Happy Heat Rechargeable Water Bottle is $29.95. Number two on the list is this neck light. I don't know if you can see this, but it has all these different settings, and it actually runs $13.99. The thing I like about this is I keep it actually on the handle by my door, and when I need to run outside, I have light. But this thing will curl into any shape so you can use it as any kind of a light. I've also used it to like get back behind drawers instead of a flashlight into those tiny little spaces. It's USB rechargeable, and I think I've charged it twice in two years, and look, it's still going strong. Number three might surprise you. This is the Zoku Slushy and Shake Maker. The reason I wanted to include this one is because a lot of us have tiny little refrigerators or just a cooler. So here's what this can do for you in a small space. This is how big it is, and you can see that it's just a little bit bigger than a regular coffee mug, so it can fit into a lot of coolers and refrigerators. You put this in the freezer for 12 to 24 hours, and then you can put like any liquid in here, and you stir it. Here's some footage of that now and it will turn whatever you put into it into a slushy. Now, a lot of people get this for their kids because it will turn juice into a slushy, or you can keep some liquid for a shake, like if you're doing protein shakes, and put it in here and it will turn that into a slushy. But I do want to tell you guys that most of the reviews I saw when I went to purchase it said that people got it for their kids and they kept it for themselves because it also makes a delicious adult beverage. Like you can see here, I put a Mike's Hard Lemonade in here and it turned it into a Mike's Hard Lemonade slushy. The Zoku Slushy and Shake Maker is $22.98. Number four on the list is the Suwaki Portable Solar Generator. I did a video about two months ago where I compare a whole bunch of different portable power boxes that have different capabilities and different wattage. So if you don't know what you need, go back and look over there. All of them are actually also in my Amazon gear list. This one is 500 watts. It can charge off a solar panel or off your 12 volt when you're driving or on the wall, and it stays charged for a long time. And then you can run a CPAP or charge your computer, a small TV, a small refrigerator. It is a lithium battery, and it also has a pure sine wave inverter, so it's great for charging high-end electronics like your laptop. This one runs $500, but they do frequently go on sale during the holidays, so look out for this one or the other ones. I will give you updates on Facebook when these go for sale. 
Number five on the list is a portable arc lighter. This is $10.99 and you go ahead and charge it on a USB port. It's right there. It stays charged for a really long time. But can you guys see this? All you do is press a button and it gives you a little arc of electricity right there. You can use this to light your propane stove. I use it to start a campfire or if you're a person that has candles or smokes or something like this, you never need to buy another lighter again. I also want to throw in an honorable mention and that is the table that I have before me. This is the King Camp foldable table. Now this is a huge table. Two people can work at it or eat at it. You can do a puzzle on it. It's great, but the best thing about this table is that it folds up into just a little tiny space like this. And it's super easy, bing, bang, boom. It will unfold and you can adjust the height of the legs. It's one of my favorite things, so I wanted to give it an honorable mention. Number six on the list is micellar water. I like the Garnier myself, the one with the pink cap. So this runs about six bucks. You can get it at a grocery store or on Amazon or a Walgreens, something like this. If you're not familiar with micellar water, there is a molecular deal inside of here that attracts dirt. You can't just splash this on your face. It has to be put on something like a cotton ball. So I actually put this onto a washcloth and I wash my face with it every morning and every night. Um, it also is a great exfoliator if you're into that. But I'll tell you what else it does. I have tried all kinds of like the shower pill wipes and the big body wipes. You know, if you're boondocking and you want to conserve your water or you're outside working and you just, you know, want something to wash off your hands, you can put this onto a washcloth and do your whole body with it. And it's like taking a shower. I actually keep some of this with the Wissy Wipes, which I'm going to show you in just a minute up front in my cab when I'm driving. So if I go pump gas or something like that, um, I can go ahead and kind of wash my hands. Another great thing about this is that if you're trying to conserve how often you do your laundry, because that can be a pain when you're on the road, you can also just put this on a little washcloth and take spots off your clothes instead of getting something like a tight stick. It's super affordable. This bottle lasts me two or three months. Love the Meisler water. Next on the list is the Comfort You body pillow. Now, I had this across my lap in a video and I had so many questions about it that I told you guys about it. Now, you might wonder what this has to do with RV life. This is the deal with this thing. Look at it. It curves all over you. So, you know, you want to snuggle something at night when you're in your RV or your van. This literally will go in the front and the back of you. But if you have a space where your bed turns into a couch at night, this will actually become the back of your couch. Or one of my favorite things is I keep it behind my neck and then I can put my elbow on top and make a little like pretzel at the end and put my legs over it. This thing twists into a bunch of different shapes, whatever it is that you need. It keeps its shape, it's washable. It does come with a white pillowcase, but I purchased this fleece one because I really love it. It's $100, but worth every penny. This almost was my very favorite thing if I could choose number one. Next thing on the list is the Evadry Renewable Dehumidifier. You guys know, moisture is death inside of a van or an RV. See these little crystals here in the middle? When that comes to you brand new, those crystals are gonna be bright orange. Then you use it until those crystals turn dark green. They're up in about the halfway mark right now. And then what you do is you go to a well-ventilated area and you plug it into the wall. And a few hours later, the crystals are orange again. It basically sucks the humidity back out of these crystals so you can use it for 10 years. I have, I think, four of these in my RV. I keep them all over the place. You can hide them. It comes with a hook that you can take off if you don't want to use a hook. Evadry Renewable Dehumidifier, $14.98, I think, right now. The next one I can't show you because it's the camera that I'm shooting with right now. It's the Canon Vixia HFR800. This thing is so tiny and portable. Here's a picture of it. You guys watch my videos. You know the quality of the camera. It has a pretty good microphone. When I first started doing YouTube, Somebody recommended to me that I get a really nice camera, an expensive camera. It was too big and it was too bulky and it had features that I was never going to use. So I switched to this one. I can put it on a stick, I can put it on a tripod, I can hold it in my hand, and it is great. I actually keep it charged and up in my cab in case something happens, I have a camera right there at the ready. You can zoom in and zoom out and all that good stuff. Right now the price is $219. The next one on the list is the Wissy Wipe 
<laughs> this tiny little thing will expand into a paper towel that is so strong, it's almost like cheesecloth. You can use it over and over again. I scrub counters with it. It's about 10 bucks for a hundred of these. So not a bad deal, especially because you can reuse them. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works with my micellar water since it's sitting right here. So all you do is you take the wipe and like I said, I keep this in my cab also. And you put a few drops of water on it. You know, you don't need a whole bunch. And then you just kind of squeeze it and it turns into a paper towel that's a pretty decent size like this. So if you're in a small space and you don't have space to have big rolls of paper towels, then this is great. This is one of my favorite things and I know it is for a bunch of other people. And like this thing is strong, you can scrub your stove or anything else with this. You can also use it, you know, as a washcloth or to use the micellar water in a pinch. It's great. Oh, I make almond milk or cashew milk with it too because it's just like a cheesecloth. Again, a hundred of these are just under $10. Number 11 is the Timber Ridge Camping Foldable Cart. Now, I don't have a lot of storage in my Tiffin, but this thing folds up, like I'm gonna show you here, into a nice little package, but it expands into a huge thing. Like you could probably put seven bundles of firewood in here, or if you're having to like haul gallons of water, it really does a great job. Some other carts are a little less expensive, I've tried those, but this one has these big nubby wheels and it's really sturdy for heavy things. It runs $89.99 or less, there are some smaller ones, but it's got a handle and it's just like a little wagon. So, oh no, big boy. <laughs> he wants to jump up here, oh, there he is. If you guys are wondering, of course I'm not in my RV, I'm at a family member's house for the holidays and um, of course the boy is here with me. Come on, get down. Get down, get down, <laughs> get down. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm actually really excited to share this one with you. Number 12 on the list is in this little lunch pail looking thing. This is the Oculus Go VR headset. Now, wait a minute. I know everybody out there who's in the RV world is going, what the heck are you doing showing us a VR headset? Well, I had no idea, you guys, what these things actually did or what they were. But here's why I think it's good for us. You put it on your head and I'm going to freaking do it like this, right? Oh, it's rechargeable on a USB cord. And as soon as you put it on, you go into like a 3D world, okay? And it becomes like your own massive theater. Putting this on your head is like watching a 144 inch TV. So if you're in a small space, you wanna be a stealth camper. You can watch whatever you want, either download it on here or through Wi-Fi for about three or four hours before it goes out with no light shining out from this and nobody else being able to hear what you're hearing. This is one of the lower priced VR headsets out there. I wish I could put the camera in here and show you guys what it does. But seriously, you are transported to a different world. And basically it's like a tablet. That's it. It's like a tablet that goes on your face. And inside of here, you can watch Netflix, Hulu, Prime. You can go to YouTube. You can shop. You can surf the internet. For $10.99, I actually got an app for this that connects to my computer. So I can put this on at night with no light showing out, and I can see my computer. And with this little wand that comes with it, I can surf my computer. I can go into documents. I can do anything. And if you're solo, it's nice because there are actually rooms where you can go in and play like board games or watch movies with your friends who also have these headsets. And you guys, I don't know anybody yet who has one of these headsets. And I'm dying to do that part. So please, everybody get one so we can all hang out together in a VR reality. Um, I'll tell you that I also do a daily meditation on here. There's a ton of that. It's free. There's content from like National Geographic and Pixar and the Discovery Channel. And it's Free, and another free thing that I had no idea I was gonna like, you guys, I like to shoot zombies. Didn't know it until I got my Oculus Go headset. They are $200. Number 13 on the list is the Enkeo Lantern Bug Zapper. They run about 20 bucks, and like a lot of other things I like, it's USB rechargeable. It stays charged for days and days and days, but uh, 
you can actually clean it out so you're not going to see how many little critters this thing got for me. But you know when you camp and at night you start to see those little gnats and they swarm around your face and they just seem to be everywhere or mosquitoes or flies and you're wondering how that bugger got into your RV because they do. This thing actually attracts them and zaps them and it's not like a big crack that freaks you out like the last one I had. And it's got a really good lantern here that is adjustable. It's a great buy and it's only $15. Number 14 on the list, which is too big to fit on my table, is an e-bike. Now you guys know that I just did a whole series where I compared the electric to the Crusher to the Rad. And out of all of them, I have to say, they're all great, they're all great, but my favorite is the Crusher Lancalisi. Here's a picture of it. I got it in red, but it comes in a lot of other bright colors. It's foldable like the electric, but it has shocks. So if you're going like on a rocky surface or in snow or something like that, it's great. It will help you pedal if you want it to, or you can ride it just like a regular bike. You charge it up and it lasts a really long time. Right now I can tell you it's about $200 off on Amazon. Uh, so I think it's around $1,600, which is a pretty good price for this one. The next thing on the list is a solar-powered fairy light string. Now, I love solar-powered lights. This one is $8.99. What I do is I, I strung it under my overhead cabinets and just held it up with some little clear command hooks. I do command strip it, you can see right there, actually command Velcro it into my window. My windows, of course, have that like RV tent, but I do get enough of a charge on this that at night when the sun goes down, they automatically come on and they stay on for about two hours, which is perfect because then they go out when I'm ready to go to sleep. These are great. You can put them inside and outside. They charge just off of this little thing and that's it. So you can put it up and forget it. And then every night you'll have great little ambient fairy lights inside of your rig. Number 16 on my list is a personal locator beacon. I also did a video on this recently where I compare a bunch of different models. And by the way, if you subscribe to my blog at creativityrv.com, up at the top you'll see subscriber resources. I have a spreadsheet that compares every single model that we can find out there and models of e-bikes and models of the power stations. So if you're shopping, just know that that's out there. But I chose the Rescue Link Personal Locator Beacon because I don't need the functionality that a lot of the bigger ones have. Some of them, you have to have a subscription and they offer text, which is great if you're like a backcountry hiker or something like that. For me, what I wanted is, if I'm in dire straits and I'm having a medical emergency, let's say I can't text or I don't have a signal or you know my cell phone isn't reaching anybody, I know that I can just hit a button on here and the signal will go up to a satellite and then be sent down to local services near me where they can come and find me and hopefully save me. To me, it was worth it. This is not something I bought my first year on the road. I looked at it, but I thought it was kind of a big expense. I'll tell you, I'm really glad I got it because I feel a lot better having it. I keep it by my door. You know, if I have a stroke, if I can make it over to this thing and hit it, somebody's gonna come. Now, we camp in rural areas, so of course the response time is not gonna be as good as it would be if you were in a city, but it's nice to know that we have something like this Somebody will come and help you if you're attacked by a bear or whatever it is, or a person, hit this. My choice here, which is a moderately priced one without a lot of the other functions, is $2.89. But if you need the better ones, check out my spreadsheet. Those are also on Amazon. Number 17 is another weird one. This is a popsicle mold. Now, these run about $17 and you get a pack of five. They're silicone. Here's why this is on my list. My little freezer in my RV wouldn't even hold a bag of ice from a 7-Eleven, but I found that I could put water in this thing to about here. You put the top on, which is connected, so you never lose the tops, and you freeze it. And I'm gonna show you right here. Then you always have a giant long ice cube, and it's the perfect size to fit into a travel mug. I have several of these all the time in my freezer, so I know that I can get some water out of my Berkey or some iced tea or something like that, and you just squeeze the end, and the ice cube comes out into your drink and then I fill it up again and put it back in the freezer. For those of us that do not have a lot of space in our freezer for ice cubes, this is a winner. I just mentioned it, so let's do it next. Number 18 on my list is the travel size Berkey water filter. Now, my RV comes with filters and I could just have like a Brita inside or drink it right out of the tap, but sometimes you camp in places, even when it's an RV park, 
where the water seems a little bit suspect, I can tell you this thing can take water that tastes real funky and when it comes out the spout, it doesn't taste funky anymore and it's totally clear. So the way it works is you fill up this top portion right here and you can see that it's got a couple of filters in there. It filters really slow because these are great filters. Then it drips down into the bottom container and you drink it out from here and then you can refill it. Again, I fill it every day, I have to drink the whole thing. The Berkey travel size, which is the smallest one they make, is $2.69, also an investment, but to me, worth it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna throw in another honorable mention because I love this stuff. This is goo. This is the color coral or color corral goo that literally picks up schmutz. I don't know how else to put it. Usually it comes in like a tub of a big thing of goo, but I decided to get a little five pack. It's $12.99 for five of these. And look, you guys, it's slime. And besides the fact that it just cleans stuff, it's so great. It just goes back to whatever shape you put it in. Who doesn't like to play with slime as an adult? So here's what it looks like, right? And look, I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see that? Do you see that dirt inside of there? Here's the deal. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it for you here. You take this and you press it down into whatever you wanna clean, like a keyboard. Or for me, inside of my cab, you know how like dirt and hair and like weird funky debris gets down by your gear shift or where you keep your change. If you put this thing down in there and you just press for a second and you pull back up, it takes all the goo with you. But then all you do is you work the dirt back in here. I've been using this one for a month and you can barely see the dirt in there. So these should last me a really long time. I've also done things like, you know, the weird corners inside of the RV, like under the slide and you can never get in there or like the baseboards or the vents. You can literally shove this up into a vent for two seconds and pull it back out and you're gonna see lines of dirt. It's really cool. So I wanted to give it an honorable mention. It's also on my gear page. This five pack is $12.99, totally worth it. The next one on my list is a USB powered electric shaver. Now this is the Fisco. It was $39.99. I have seen it going on and off of lightning deals on Amazon, so look for that. But it's a USB rechargeable. So ladies or men, you know that the RV showers can be a little bit tiny and it's hard to bend over and shave your legs, right? Or you don't wanna use the water to shave your legs or whatever. So this thing, you just hit the button and it is a great shaver, you guys. And for us or for them, you press this little button right here and it's got a trimmer. So dudes um, or ladies, you can actually make a really nice shape like on the back of your neck or whatever. So I just sit outside in my cam chair and shave my legs in the sunshine. It's rad. Number 20 on my list also won't fit on this table because it's my quick set clam. It is absolutely my favorite purchase this year. Here's a picture of one on Amazon. That's the one I'm gonna tell you about because it's the smallest one and the least expensive one. This one is 72 inches by 72 inches. It runs about $169. It's got four panels. I actually got one one size bigger than this and I know I've promised it to you guys. I'm gonna come out with a video in the spring showing you how I pop it up. But here's the difference between this kind of an outdoor tent and the other ones. There's no stakes, there's no connections. You literally take it out of the container and it's like a spider. And then you pull on the sides of it and it pops up into a tent. And then when you wanna put it back down, you go inside of it and there's a little loop and you pull that down and it collapses it and you go outside and you smush it down and you put it back in its container and put it away. The one that I got is a little unwieldy because it's got six panels, but I can pop it up and put it away just fine by myself. Here's some shots of my clam and from inside my clam. And you guys, I put a blow up lounger out there and I put my King Camp table and I work out there and I lounge out there and I listen to music, I take naps. You feel like you're still outside because these big mesh windows let in the light and the view, if it's trees or mountains or desert or whatever, but people cannot really see in. Also, an investment, but if you need more space or you need a space like that outside because you're working or you have a partner or you just wanna chill outside with some privacy, I recommend the Quick Set Clam. 
The links for all this stuff can be found below at the top of comments or in my description. You go there, you're going to see this whole list and everything else that I've ever recommended. Please stay in touch with me on Facebook or Instagram. I will be posting deals on these items as they come up over the course of the next month. I hope you guys found this helpful and that these items help enhance your mobile life or just your life in general or give you some ideas for what to give people on the holidays, even if that person is you. I hope to see you all out on the road soon or just doing something you love. Until then, everybody have happy travels and be free.